Today we will discuss about Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is used for the find the missing length for the right angle triangle. Here we observe this is the right angle triangle. In front of right angle triangle, which is the longer side, is called the hypotenuse. And the rest of the short sides from A to B or B to C. The either we can say the length one, length two, or they are the legs of the right angle triangles. So if you are require the hypotenuse, we take the squares of two short sides and square root it you find the hypotenuse value. Let's suppose if I have a right angle triangle, in front of right angle here, this is hypotenuse, this is length 1, and this is length 2. Or you can say this is length 1, and then this is length 2. Doesn't matter. But in front of right angle, every time, in front of right angle, we have hypotenuse value. So how can we find the missing length for the hypotenuse value? Whenever we require hypotenuse, we take the squares and then add them, then take a square of the given values. So the question number one have the answer, the hypotenuse equal the square 15.2 square plus 11.3 square. Take the square root fifteen point two square plus eleven point three square. Press equal you find eighteen point nine four zero one. But after decimal we just require only one value. So eighteen point nine. But sometime we depends on the information here he just say find the missing length. But if you mention find the three significant figure after decimal should be two numbers. So whatever the require we go for the requirement. But here he said find the missing length. He didn't say that find uh, the answer in three significant find the answer after decimal should be two numbers. Uh, he didn't mention here. So the answer would be here 18.9 18.9. So the hypotenuse is 18.9 which is a C question number two we are given the information we are given the hypotenuse value why it is hypotenuse because it is in front of right angle so this is the one of the short side and we require the other short side which is RQ so whenever we are given the hypotenuse value we need to find the one of the missing short side so we do squares of the longer side which is called the hypotenuse here minus six point one of the short side square if you observe here we require the longer side when we require the longer side we add the given values but if we are given the short side if we are given the longer side and one uh, longer side and one short side we need to find the one missing short side so we minus longer side minus the short side with the square. So it becomes 9 square 9 square minus 6.2 square. Press equal. You have the answer 6.523. So I'm taking only after decimal one value. So it is 6.5. 6.5. Centimeter. This is also in centimeter. This is also in centimeter. Question number three. We need to find the PR. PR is the hypotenuse value because it is in front of right angle. So as we know, if we need to find the hypotenuse value, we take the squares of the two numbers, 1.7 square 
then add 1.2 square 1.1 square then take a square root so you'll find the answer so 1.1.7 square plus 1.1 square press equal which is 2.02 .02. so I just say two point zero two centimeter in question number four we are given the hypotenuse value because it, it is in front of right angle so again we are missing one short side and we give one uh, short side so square of the longer side minus the squares of the short side so it is point zero four square minus point zero three square so answer is point zero two if we look at here it is point zero two six so I, if I go for the after decimal so it is zero point Three zero three. If I take only one decimal place, zero point zero three. Question number five. Question number five. We need to find again the longer side, which is in front of hypotenuse. So this value is uh, squares them and add them. So we take fourteen square plus fifteen square, which is equal. 14 square plus 15 square 20.5 centimeter here also answer in centimeter question number six we are given longer side which is hypotenuse and we are given one short side and we miss the short side. When we miss the short side, we minus them. So it would be 4.8 square. Longer side minus the given short side. 2.4 square. Square root of 4.8 minus uh, square minus 2.4 square press equal you find 4.156 so I rounded it become 4.2 4.2 centimeter so this length is 4.2 centimeter again question number seven in question number seven we need to find the longer side which is called the hypotenuse we are given two short sides so question number in this question we do again plus 0 0.03 square plus 0 0.04 square 0 0.03 square plus 0 0.04 square which is equal 0 0.05 So this length is 0 0.05 centimeter. Question number eight. In this question also, we need to find the hypotenuse, the longer side, and we given two short sides. So take the square root 10.2 square plus we add them, eight square. So 10. Point 10.2 square plus 8 square press equal 12.96 when we round it uh, 9 in one decimal so after this this is 6 number so it becomes uh, one number increase and it becomes 13.0 so which is 13 centimeter question number 9 we are given the information about the triangle but we need 
if you not understand the point you can make rough sketch of the triangle even the rest before as many triangles we done here in the different part of the question all are the triangles are not on the scale this is just a rough sketch so you can go for these triangles as well you can make rough sketch for these two questions and then find the solution so what we need to find AC let's suppose we draw the triangle here this triangle is also for the rough sketch it's not with the scale so this is right angle it means in front of right angle this is hypotenuse but this point is very important when you draw the rough sketch if you look at in the question you say a is right angle so we mention a here so rest of thing is up to you either you can say this is b or you can say this is b it's up to you let's go if i say this is b and this is c so what is a b a b is 3.2 centimeter and b c this is the b c b c is the hypotenuse so b c is 4.8 centimeter so it means we need to find a c as mentioned in the question so we need to find the short side so whenever we given the longer side and short side we squares and minus them so it becomes 4.8 square minus 3.2 square so this is AC four point four point eight square minus three point two square which is equal three point five seven seven so we can say three point five increase after because number is more than five so five or more increase the number as the rounding rule so it becomes three point six three point six centimeter question number 10 also for the rough sketch triangle method again we draw the triangle first draw the lines So this is right angle again the most important point is what is q is 90 degree so it means it 90 degree where is the right angle here with the two perpendicular line so it is right angle here so q is right angle now rest of it's up to you either you can say this is p this is r or you can say this is r this is p you can switch it because it's a rough sketch so we can see if we observe it it becomes p for example if i say this is p and this is r so QR equals 32, this is QR which is 32 centimeter and this is PQ, PQ this is 56 centimeter. In this question we need to find out PR, PR is the hypotenuse value so it means whenever we require the hypotenuse value which is the longer side we take the squares of two short sides and add them, squares of 56 plus 32 square so it would be square of 56 plus 32 square 32 square sorry so 32 square so it becomes 64.498 but after decimal if I take one number so I have to increase the number why because the next number after one decimal the second decimal number is five or more five or more we increase the next number so it becomes it becomes 64 sorry fifty six square plus thirty two square which is sixty four point five centimeter if so if you observe the Pythagoras theorem in Pythagoras theorem we need to find one of the missing length so this is useful find out the missing length so sometime we need to find 
the longer side which is called the hypotenuse or sometimes we need to find one of the short side so whenever we go uh, for the longer side we need to find the longer side we add the given side squares and square root it but if we need to find the short side we are given the longer side we are given the longer side so longer side square minus given short side square so as question number one and question number three question number five question number seven question number eight question number ten if you observe all these questions what I circled in this question we require to find out we require the hypotenuse which is longer side every time every time we square it and then add them but if you observe question number two we miss the short side we square and put the minus longer side minus the short side if you observe question number four also longer side square minus the given short side square if you observe question number six we might Take the square root of longer side, then minus one of the short side. If you observe question number 9, in this also we are given one of the longer side, we need to find the short side. So when we, we are given longer side, so we square and minus. But when we require the longer side, when we require the longer side, we square the short side and plus and then I take a square root. Hope you will find the answer of the Pythagoras theorem. It's very easy. Thank you very much.